Hi guys, it's Melissa from 70 Acre Studio. I'm doing a challenge with the lovely Aunt Bex Creations. She is celebrating her 1200 subscribers and she's doing a small challenge giveaway. Rules are to make two three inch by four inch prompt cards and you should decorate the backs of the card in any manner that you want and then write some prompts on the front and mail them out. And if you are picked as the winner, you will get a set of prompt cards and a few other goodies. Without thinking about it, today's been a very uh, roller coaster day. This is the first anniversary of my dad's death and my mom's moving out of the home they shared for many, many, many years. And it's all happening very sudden. I mean, she just listed her house on the market about a week and a half ago and it's already sold. So it's, it's been a roller coaster and I'm feeling a little bit blue today. Without thinking, I had started another video session where I made some uh, interesting textured cards just on cardstock and I will post that video soon. The plan was to make ATC cards out of them and here's just here's a sample of two of the pages that I made and you can watch that video on my channel for instructions on how I made them and without thinking I just cut these up and I started decorating them without turning on the camera so uh, I'm gonna finish decorating these I'm just using a small bit of well what else I mean you know it's me so it would have to be Dr. Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay inks and I'm just using a bit of violet just a drop really and drawing out a line and then using my trusty credit card to make some horizontal and vertical lines just to give it a little interest. I lost my line. Okay. It's really very random. Um, not really paying too much attention. I'm just trying to keep it to horizontal and vertical and I'm quite liking the effect. I had played around with this sheet and put a layer of white pearl paint down on it at the end and I wasn't happy with the amount of coverage it provided. It was masking too much. So I figured I'd add a few drops of the violet to kind of pop it up. And it worked nicely but I just felt like I wanted some lines. This is the first time I've made any prompt cards. Maybe a little more. My husband was outside and called me and told me to come outside and my lilacs bloomed. Now when I was a kid we lived on top of my father's gas station in the town of St. James and we had a quarter acre run of lilacs that grew on our property and as a kid 
I used to sit outside, I'm talking like nine years old, younger. Um, I used to sit outside in front of the gas station and sell the lilacs for 75 cents a bunch. And the last year that I did it, I think, um, I don't remember when, how old I was, I think I was 10, I made over $1,100 because a florist came by and caught and bought everything that he could get for Mother's Day. So on, on Long Island in this region, lilacs bloom traditionally around Mother's Day. You know, that was my dad's idea to sell the lilacs and I thought it was kind of sweet that the lilacs bloomed on the anniversary of his death. So I have a big bouquet of lilacs sitting in here next to his picture and next to this little credit card clipboard that he had. Back in the day, when you used a credit card, the person would come out with your credit card and the carbon copied credit card receipt like this. And you would sign it and you would hand it back to him. Well, I've held on to this stupid piece of aluminum my whole life. It was my dad's. We had a Sinclair gas station. That's Dino the Dinosaur. And I treasure this silly thing. I also have my dad's can opener from, that he carried on, in World War II. I carry that with me everywhere I go. Alrighty, so that's, that's closed. And I think these came out really nice. I, I'm enjoying looking at them. They, were, they turned out really pretty. So I'm going to clip the corners. Um, maybe, I, maybe I'll wait on clipping the corners. I have to glue this down onto some cardboard or at least another piece of cardstock. I do have more cardstock. I guess I could do that. And this is some quick dry tacky glue from Scotch. All right, now let me let that dry. And when I'm done cutting them out, I will come back. Okay, guys, I glued them down onto another piece of cardstock. This stuff works really good and it dries real quick. So I cut them out and I trimmed the corners with this punch and they look pretty flat. I think they'll be fine. This corner is still bugging me. It's not exactly there. That's better. So I thought I would decorate the backs a little bit. This is some golden acry uh, liquid acrylic. I got these in a kit and they were on sale so that's why I have them. There's no way I'd be using them if they weren't on sale. This is some pearl. This is actually the green in a pen. It came with um, three different pens. So I guess I'll just go around the, the edge with some green. Just give them a little color. I think I will just put a little of this out and just kind of do a little border with it around the edges. And I think I'm just going to use my fingers. I'm going to own it. Wow, that's so pretty. smell people having barbecues.
must be a little glue there. put down just enough. Okay. I like that. Even it out a little bit here and there. Okay, so now I have to come up with some silly prompts. How mean do I want to get? Should I tell them to? <laughs> Paint with your toes, or... Let me think about my quotes, and I will come back. Okay, I've added my prompts, and now I'm going to color them in, and hopefully not make a complete mess. Well, my handwriting's not very neat, but paint with something from your kitchen drunk junk drawer. Not drunk drawer. Junk drawer. Because I know we all have one. I mean, come on. Can you honestly say you don't have a junk drawer in your kitchen? I don't think you can. Hi everybody, I'm back. So here is this one. And there's the cover, the back. I really like how the back came out. This one is still a little wet. The glitter is still wet. So there they are, and I hope Becky enjoys these. I'm going to finish this video, process it, and get it up tonight. Hi everyone, it's Melissa from 70 Acre Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd be grateful if you'd please give me a thumbs up and a kind comment down below. Please share my channel with your friends and on your social media and please subscribe. When you subscribe, please click the alarm bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for helping grow my channel. So long now!